Tamsin and Corey, one area that will take a hit at gas prices. Right now, it is 367 for a gallon of regular unleaded here at this gas station in Long Island City behind me. But one expert we spoke with said that that could shoot up as much as 15 cents per gallon in the coming weeks. Not good news for the American economy that is already struggling with record inflation. The Russian invasion of Ukraine may be happening thousands and thousands of miles away, but Americans are already feeling the effects here at home. The primary impact is on Americans' wallets. They will be paying more at the pump. Patrick DeHaan, an analyst with Gas Buddy, says most states can see prices go up anywhere from five to ten cents a gallon over the next week or two, longer if the conflict drags on. And the national average can eventually rise to four dollars a gallon. Russia's oil flow. It is the second largest, borderline third largest oil producer globally. And so what happens in Russia could have a profound impact in terms of energy availability and price. It's not only at the pumps. You'll start to see increases in your home heating bills as well. Russia also exports a lot of agriculture. In fact, Russia and Ukraine combined account for at least 30% of global wheat imports. We also import metals and steel from Ukraine. If this war gets bigger, that, by definition, creates huge demand for all kinds of things. What happens when demand goes up? Prices go up. The invasion has obvious political ramifications, and experts say it will also put a strain on the American economy already hampered by rising inflation and supply chain issues. While sanctions may be the next step after failed diplomacy, John Rosen, professor of economics at University of New Haven, says it will also affect supply. The purpose of sanctions is to hurt Russia, by limiting trade, limiting the Russians' ability to earn money, whatever it is they're selling that we want to buy, we will no longer be able to buy, which means that it will hurt our economy too. The market is reacting. This morning, stocks plummeted and prices for wheat, oil, and other commodities surged. But markets did stabilize after President Biden addressed the nation. I know this is hard and that Americans are already hurting. I will do everything in my power to limit the pain the American people are feeling at the gas pump. And because we are living in such a global economy, it is not just the Americans who are affected. The Russian-Ukrainian conflict will likely drive up food and gas prices all over the world.